So this is called If I Have a Son. If I have a son, I will teach him how to love women. He doesn't need to fall in love with them, but he will learn how to stand in love and then how to protect women, how to respect women, how to create space for women, how to not erase women, how to honor women, how to center women. Moving us from the margins to the middle, I will teach my son and like a riddle, he will uncover and learn these lessons and know that women are this earth's blessing for only the heavens could have created something so legend, something so powerful, so strong, so resilient. If I have a son, he will learn that the strength of my mother and grandmothers is woven into the cord that cradles my spine creating the courage to hold my head high, shoulders back, lungs intact, breath relaxed in control with power and strength and resilience. And even on the days when I have nothing left to give, I will teach my son this. We need to teach all of our sons this because my survival depends on it. Our survival as women depends on how we raise our sons, yet still it remains that the onus is put on us. The burden is always buried into the backs of women. And so we have just had to teach ourselves how to protect, how to respect, how to create space, how to not erase, how to honor, how to center. And we've asked the world to do the same, but how long should we patiently wait? Because time is a luxury that we cannot afford, not when we are forced to learn how to survive under the heavy hands of our oppressors who put pressure on our ability to breathe, to be free. But nothing in life is, don't you see? We are so tired of trying to survive that we have no more energy left inside to live our lives free. Free from violence, free from trauma free from the hurt that greets us in the morning and watches us sleep at night. I am tired of the pain. But I would give the last grain of my energy to continue to fight to be free. And if I have a son, he too will learn how to fight for me, for us, for freedom. Thank you. I miss the finger snaps in a room. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> that was so good. My eyes are wet from dinner. <laughs> it's a different thing to um to read it than to hear it with all the energy. I mm. it's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>